Yep, today I just want to talk about gemstones, crystals and the solstice and the type of energy which rises during that time. Now, the winter solstice is a beautiful time to uh, build energy to create a routine. Now, because it's about your goals. What goals do you set? You know, most people set their goals on the 1st of January or just before the new year. The real key is to set your goals during the solstice because what happens is the sun seasonally moves into the sign of Capricorn on that 21st and it becomes the, you know, you could say that the literally the sun is in the universe during that time because it's darker right for the for, well it, you know the days are short during that time so you're getting more of the universal lights you're getting more of the the true light the, the deeper light the you know this is where the black hole in essence you can call it you're getting more of that type of light so these are the time to set routines because you're going right inside of the universe you're getting right in you're getting right into the black hole, should I say. Now, so what happens is during that time, if you set yourself a routine or a goal, you're going to accomplish it. You're going to be more, uh, uh, you're going to be more susceptible to co accomplish that goal. Now, why do I say this? Because it's the month of Capricorn. Now, Capricorn governs ambition, rulership, strength, power, order. Now, the planet that is governed by Capricorn is Saturn. Saturn is the planet which pushes those energies forth. Now, Saturn has two aspects. Check this out. Saturn could either be a worker that works for, you know, you could work for a company or work for, you know, your boss. Or Saturn could be a leader. So again, Saturn could be the boss. Saturn can be, um, you know, the, you know, have the order in place. Now you choose which side of the coin you take. You whatever you take, heads or tails, it's completely up to you. You know, if you want to be going through the tails, then you work for the company, and that is your routine. You know, this is why it's called the Lord of the Rings. The routine. It holds a routine. This is why it has the rings. It holds you in a routine. Or you could be a leader and you, you are in charge of the routine. So this is how the pyramid works in essence. How, you know, things are in particular order in the universe or in, 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 in modern society. You know, you could have a, a teacher or you could have a student. The student eventually becomes the, you know, the teacher, but it all takes time, it all takes time, and it's all to do with routine. This is why it's the Lord of the Rings, once again. Let me burn my incense. So, basically, this means that it's at its most predominant, pr predominant moment of powerful energy, and this means that you can utilize this to expand. This is why I set your goals set your goals really set your goals and what will happen is when you set your goals in this time you will reap the benefits and this these are you know various techniques that people use and if you know about the seasons then you know that each season brings out a different flavor and this is the time to kind of you know set your goals because remember saturn or uh you know saturn or capricorn Capricorn is is, 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 is is governed by the mountain goal, reaching the top. So when you look at astrology, Aries is like is almost like it's rising. You know, it rises in the east. When you get to Saturn, you you're at the top of your birth chart. That's you know, that you got a birth chart and you're at the top. And that top is, you know, you can see the whole mountain, you can see the whole uh, the landscape, and that's what the the whole aspect of being the mountain the mountain goat and uh, what it means behind it and that's why you set your goals at the top of the mountain now here's the key because you can see everything and um, when you do that you will notice how how beneficial it will be for you okay in this video also I did say I wanted to talk about a few gemstones 
Now, obviously, gemstones, the re re reason why I want to talk about gemstone, actually, is because it will um, work with you when you're working with routines. Why? Because to set up a new task, sometimes you need, you need certain spiritual aids. You need things that will help you to get where you want to. And sometimes gemstones and crystals can do so as well as um, organites and amulets and all types of stuff. So, I will begin with um, Moonstone. This is a Moonstone. I'll put it closer to the camera. Yeah, this thing here is Moonstone. Now, Moonstone connects you with your stomach, your stomach, your emotions, your feelings. Now I remember when I first picked up a raw, I always say get the raw base crystals, they're the best. When I first picked up a raw moonstone, I literally placed it around my uh, stomach. At the time, I had a lot of stomach issues. So I placed it around my stomach. And what I noticed is that it started... Um, activating certain parts in my intestines you know I could hear all types of noise cooling through my stomach and then I noticed that it cleared out the pain had just cleared out now it cleared out for a little bit but obviously it came back afterwards but the what I want to say is that the moonstone has the possibility to help uh, you know ease those like pains in relation to the stomach as well as menstrual cycle for women now um, the reason for that is because it allows it to it allows circulation to to maneuver around your stomach now and that's one of the reasons behind your emotions and feelings because it works with your gut emotions your gut feelings what you feel how you think is through your stomach first then into the brain they say you have more nerves in the stomach than you have in a brain so this means that the stomach is the source of thinking this is why food is such an important tool now and this is the reason why i brought this stone first because once you master your emotions you're able to then tap into your thinking and to set up a new goal you need the right stone so moonstone is good in relation to to tap into your emotions and be able to kind of ease your emotions just also utilizing crystals and gemstones what I would say if you want to get into crystals and gemstones and want to feel the crystals and gemstones then allow them to interact with you as opposed to you trying to program it the crystal is already programmed to do what it's supposed to do you only have to just pick it up hold it and let it talk to you just like when you shake somebody's hand when you shake somebody's hand you shake somebody's hand and you get a vibe you know if that person's hand is mm, it's giving you a you know a strong handshake and that is to do with the feeling you're going with the feeling the flow but now with crystals it's a little bit more subtle you just have to just hold them and feel them just rub your fingers around it you know you know take care of it you know caress it you know caress it give it a gentle touch and then you'll notice that it will take you through different steps and emotions and feelings and that's what the moonstone will do so you can get yourself a moonstone and the moonstone will help you do, to do a lot of wonderful things um, another crystal that I recommend um, is a rose quartz the rose quartz is a stone which taps into your your heart it allows you to get into um, the, the core of love it allows you to tap into unconditional love first before it allows you to gain love because what it does how does it do this is because what happens is we hold on to so much things right in life that sometimes we don't know how to receive correctly and what happens is with the rose quartz it allows you to to love others as much as yourself and you know it allows you to forgive and when you forgive somebody you're forgiving yourself you know you're forgiving yourself because you're allowing that space now to clear out you're letting go 
of an emotion that's been holding you back. And rose quartz allows you to tap into yourself through, um, you know, through letting go of certain pains. And, and that's how it opens the heart. It allows you to be free. You know, sometimes what it, you know, the, the less you have, the less baggage you have, the easier it makes it, you know, you know it, it, the easier it elevates your heart. And, you know, people underestimate this, this gemstone, but it's probably one of the best gemstones that you can have. Okay, one of the best gemstones that you can have. Now that will deal with your heart. So if you want to set goals in relations to opening up your heart more for this new year, then rose quartz is the one and connecting to yourself, finding self love. Self love is so deep. I'll tell you why. Okay, I'm going to get into this stone in a minute. This is my favorite stone. Self love is so important. And, um, you know, one of the keys is because we are so deeply mind programmed by the system that we don't know that we are mind programmed by the system. You know, we are constantly on a routine-based function. You know, I was listening to one to one guy on YouTube and he was saying how, what, you know, a teacher and stuff, he was saying how, never take the same direction the same time because, well, constantly, I mean, what I mean constantly, all the time. Because when you take the same journey every day in the same place, you actually are setting yourself in the routine base function mind programming technique meaning that you're constantly going through the same direction without taking another direction and it locks you in one form and phase of thinking so that therefore mean that phase of thinking is not allowing you to shift because you 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 know it, it it makes you stuck you know when you keep doing the same things it makes you stuck you have to do something different you cannot stay on the same kind of thing or else you become stuck and uh, this is why um, you know finding out how to love yourself is so important because when you do so you're able to just not only figure out um, what is it that you're supposed to do but you also figure out what is it that you're not supposed to do now uh, I don't know I'm just going all over the place um, now you have this stone, I'm going to talk about three more. This is Lapis Lazulu. Lapis Lazulu connects you with your throat. If you have any tension in your throat, anything to do with thyroid, then get yourself a Lapis Lazulu. Get yourself a bracelet, get yourself a Lapis ring. Just be careful on which ring finger you choose because obviously that will tap into different... Um, uh, degrees of planetary energies because each ring governs a planet now lapis lazuli connects you with how you communicate uh, it allows you to tap into the right things when it comes to speech dealing with people um, connecting with people um, if you are anxious it allows you to cool your mind if you need reassurance, it allows you to tap into that kind of you which will allow you to think clearer. Therefore means it cools the mind. It has a soothing effect that allows you to relate to your inner thinking as opposed to a stone like citrine which is really active. So uh, lapis lazuli helps with that and it's my favourite stone. It's my favorite because it is so peaceful. I think it's the most peaceful stone. Now everyone's different. I know the ancient Egyptians used to use that. The Kemetians, the um, you know, the, I know obviously it's also where is it in Afghanistan and Egypt and Brazil and a few other places. But when you get a sphere, it's always better because a sphere just creates the universal kind of flow. You know? So the sphere is the best. Um, two more stones. Shit, this one is a bit tight. This one is black tourmaline. Black tourmaline or tourmaline is a grounding stone. Um, it grounds you. It basically pulls the negativity and it grounds you. 
you know this is what is in my scalar pendant so if you ever bought a scalar pendant from me this one is the grounding stone it allows you to kind of tap into that force where you feel more grounded so you can have a little small stone carry it in your pocket it will protect you from negative people also it keeps those people out of your way or it eases that tension i should say because essentially everything is force these are just helps they, they aid to to kind of get them out your face so remember that crystals are like food food is the same thing whatever crystal you take just know that it's going to help you but it won't do the job for you you know it's all about how and you know don't expect the crystal to be your to be god but it will be there for you but you have to set the routine you have to set the the task in action so black town money is good for protection getting rid of negative people and strengthening um you know the, the grounding aspect of you so you can connect with your heart i'm um, not your heart your, your your lower chakra and just grounded so i'm just thinking of so many things in my head right now i think i have been um just doing quite a lot recently and this last one i'm going to talk about is called fushite fushite is a good stone when you're dealing with consultations and people who asks a lot of questions because this will get you straight down to the action this will allow you to create or do various healings without holding on to anything in relations to you know you deal with the consultation and you'd be really really blunt about how you feel so this is what fushite does so when you have a fushite you're able to kind of keep your energy based and centered so people don't drain you out so it's a consultation and a healing stone and um, yeah it's green so obviously any green stone generally is good for the heart and any pink stones is good for the heart blue stones are good for the throat um, spiritual stones tend to be good for uh, well they would be generally purple like amethyst actually amethyst looks like this for those that don't know, obviously a lot of people do know, but amethyst is a stone like this and that is a stone of the third eye it helps with vision and it allows you to get into your dreams and deeply see what's going on. It's a very relaxing stone, it represents lavender, it has that lavender feel. So yeah, these are the gemstones that you can utilise on your day to day basis and when you utilise them, you'll feel a difference you'd feel a difference. I sell the roll sports on my website if you're interested. The price is really good at the moment and it's a good piece. Some something about the handful of them for about five pounds, four or five pounds. I can't remember. Something like that. But um your gemstones are good. When you combine them with the 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 organite it will basically amplify its frequency. So you can place them next to the organite and things like that. So um, yeah, just make sure you set yourself some goals because it's a very powerful time to set goals and uh, Yeah, make it possible, you know, make it very possible because you know, it's time. It's time 